Hi Anya, it's Dano. Um, I watched your video. Drama so class sounds really cool. Uh, I don't know exactly what you're gonna do with it, but it sounds like you already have ideas, and I agree that it's drama class, and you can probably wing it, or at least wing some of them. But I bet Jeremy has lots of ideas for exercises for that stuff. Anyway, so it's really, you're right, it's really hard to know what to talk about, especially when we just saw each other. So I was going to talk about my day today. Um, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things with having been gone, and I need to go back to doing academic work, but that's kind of hard because I don't really want to. So instead, I've been trying to take care of all the stupid little errands that I have to do. Like, I went to the library to return books, and I had to water my friend's ficus, and I cleaned my room, I unpacked my stuff. I mean, it doesn't help that I got up at like 12.30 today. But after this, I'm going to go through the outline for the article and try to be serious about actually doing some work. Um, and it doesn't help that last night, uh, as soon as I got to the apartment, like I was walking up the stairs and my phone buzzed with a text message from my friends who do the LARP, and they were like, hey, why don't you come over to our house tonight so you can do embroidery, and which we will pay you money for, and hang out with us. And I was like, okay, that's a great idea. So I went over and I did earn $35 by doing embroidery, and which is fun for me, so the money is like kind of redundant actually a little bit um but i was there until three o'clock in the morning so that's why i got up at 12 30 today and now have gotten less done than i should but it's okay also four minutes is so short and so long at the same time um hmm so that was my day today that was the drama class now what do i talk about Mmm. Game was awesome. Cats are cute. I don't know. I guess I could talk about the article and my problems with it. I think it has gotten too big in my head, like all the things that I would like to cover in the space of the article, and it has drifted too far away from just a simple analysis of the single text. So today when I look at the outline, I'm going to take a look at how much of it is like ex this extraneous information and how much of it is really contributing to how you get your final understanding of the text itself. And it doesn't help that it's really hard to talk about the text without feeling like I, there's just a ton to explain. I described it as Paul, to Paul as feeling like I'm peeling an onion because... Grant Morrison is just so good at weaving together a story out of elements of all of the other stories and making it all kind of nest together with these like layers and layers and layers and layers and layers of meaning, some of which are created by image and some of which are created by word. And so I can't really analyze the text properly. Like you can't properly understand the text unless you understand all of this backstory. Or at least that's, I think, part of the problem with Grant Morrison's writing in this context. And so, do I go into detail and explain all of that? Or do I just, like, stick to explaining what his main thesis is and then allude to the fact that there's all this other stuff going on? And on top of that, I'm not really sure how many pages it's supposed to be. So, it's dumb. Also, four minutes! <laughs>